Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with a different verse tonight than one in Joshua, which I'm currently reading. I'm actually coming at you with something a little bit more personal, something that I've been thinking about. Now recently, if you've been following my last few videos, I've been stressing out a little bit as to how to edit things and to get the sound right and looking for proper software. I feel like my hardware is in pretty good shape even though I threw away a cord that was perfectly good because I didn't test it properly and didn't know how to test it properly. So those just making the best possible content for you guys and also being satisfied with my content myself like looking at what I've made and saying I really did the best job I could have done. I'm proud of this. Like I like what I'm making um, and I am proud of it, but I want to do more. There's a lot more that I want to do. I feel like the bar can be raised a whole lot higher than it currently has been. So just thinking through that, and it was honestly getting me down a little bit. And I was just like, doggone it, you know, this whole, the YouTube thing, I'm not going to stop. Like the one thing that I have in my corner right now is my tenacity. I'm putting out two videos a day, a day not just two day, today I should put out three videos. But today um i want to say it again today every day two videos and i've maintained that even when i went out of state and i'm proud of that i'm going to keep doing that but it was just getting me down that the quality it's taking me a long time to learn apparently my learning curve isn't that great and that's hard that's a little difficult to admit but it is true like i'm not dumb okay that could be argued shut up but my learning curve is not the greatest. It never has been. It takes me a while to get a hold of something. Once I get it, I'm good, but I don't just get it like right off the bat. It's not immediate or simple or quick. And same with YouTube. I, if I was trying to learn it step by step and make practice videos until I was like genuinely pleased with my content, I probably wouldn't be making YouTube videos to this very day. And so it was just, it was getting me down a little bit. But then I thought back to not I thought back to so many things that are good. The fact that I'm relatively healthy. The fact that financially I'm doing all right. I'm uh, you know, I'm in a position where financially, you know, I'm not about to lose my home or lose my electricity or I have to fast or anything because I don't have money. I'm not in that kind of a position. I've got a good church, a good pastor, good friends. Even my bosses at work are nice people. How many people can claim that? So the verse I'm coming at you at you with tonight. That was good English too. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. In everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In everything give thanks. There's so so much to be thankful for. And the fact that I live in the United States and I'm not daily persecuted or denied employment or denied basic housing because I'm a Christian. That is so huge. I'm not dodging bullets every day for a living. I'm not killing others every day for a living. I'm able to make videos for you guys and the biggest concern in my life is making these videos the best that I can. I am amazingly blessed. Even if I'm not, you know, Mark Senpai or Jack Senpai or Pood Senpai or any other Senpais out there. I'm blessed almost beyond words. I, you know, I, I'm able to pay my bills on time. I actually own my car. I don't own my place. This isn't my place. Um, someone from the church is graciously, graciously letting me live with them at the moment um, after my mom died. But still, I'm blessed. Amazingly so. There's so much to be thankful for. I have no business being down or pessimistic. I have a lot to learn and there's a lot of growth to do. But I have no business getting down about that. And it just, that was something that really hit me today. And I thought that that message was really important um, for me. I thought it could be an encouragement to you guys as well. You may not be in as good a position as me. You may be in a very rough position. I know um, when I was living with my mom and she was in uh, failing health, her death was out of the blue. It wasn't failing like cancer or anything, but her death was still completely out of the blue. I didn't see it coming. I didn't I didn't see any indicating signs. Neither did my dad. Neither did she. She didn't say anything. But um it was it was harder back then. Interestingly enough, it was actually harder back then when she was alive. And um the Lord is 
blessed me a lot since then. He's taken care of me, and he's taken good care of me. And you guys may be in my position now where you're really blessed and I have no right to complain. You may be in a position where I was where things aren't going great, but in all things, give thanks. If nothing else, you can be thankful that God loves you and that Jesus has prepared a place for you in heaven for all of those of you who believe on his name. The very, very barest of least, you can be thankful for that. And me, I, I have no room to complain at all. I just need to shut up, period. I love you guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. God bless.